Hello and welcome to the course. For this first video, we will be covering PureF. Now PureF is an image viewer that I'll be utilizing for the entirety of this course. Mainly used for reference um, in any images that I pull up and we discuss, I will be pulling them up in PureF. Now if you go ahead and go to PureF.com, hit that big blue download button, get it installed, get it downloaded, um, and once you do so, go ahead and launch it up. Now what you'll see when you launch it up is that you get this nice, clean, borderless windowed software. Just as it said, there's nothing here, drop images to get started. Now, if I was to have pre-saved images to my desktop, I could just select them, boom, drag them in here. Another way to get images inside of PRF is that if I click anywhere within the, the window here, I could right click, boom, I get this nice menu of options. You know, we're not gonna cover all of them today um, or in this video, because there's only like a handful that really matter and are necessary necessary for what we need. If I go to load all the way to the bottom, I could load images. Now this allows me to load images, open a file browser, and select you know a bulk amount of images that I might have saved to a specific folder. Another great thing, and one of the main reasons why we're using PRF is that it allows me to save basically the projects of images. And so what that means is that if I'm working on you know three different characters, and I can have a reference folder project for each specific one. For example. We're creating, you know, we have this course on Udemy, character creation course. I have my folder, I have my project, and boom, I can go ahead and load it in, and we're good to go. So if I go ahead and I right click anywhere inside of PRF, right click and hold, that is, I can right click and hold, and I can move the entire window. You see that? So if I want to put it onto my second monitor, I can right click, hold, and drag to my second monitor. If I want to resize PRF, I can go to any of these edges. All right, you see that? I can go ahead and click and drag to resize PRF. Okay. If I want to zoom in to any of these images, I could just scroll wheel in and out. Okay. To zoom in and out. Now, if I want to pan left or right, I can middle mouse click and drag, and I'm I can start panning anywhere inside of PRF to get around. Now, another key feature of PRF, and we will be using it a lot on and off. Um, if it doesn't make sense currently right now, don't worry, it will make sense in the further videos. But if I right click, and I go down to mode, and I select always on top, this will allow PRF to maintain the topmost position in terms of softwares. So what does that mean? If I launch ZBrush and I'm sculpting, and I only have one monitor where I can't put my reference to another window, if I have always on top, and I resize PRF, and I zoom in on a specific image, I can keep PRF on the corner, wherever I may, wherever I want, and I can continue to sculpt, or I can continue to retopo. It's, it's just becomes the topmost software. Um, if that does not make sense, don't worry, it will, um, and we'll continue to go from there. Okay, I believe that's all we're gonna be covering with PRF for now. In the next video, we'll be covering the importance of reference. So let's get to it.